The European Cricket League is proudly brought to you by Dream 11, HCL Software, La Junta de Andalucía, Paramatch and Norcane. And the official charity partner, Share the Meal by the United Nations World Food Programme. A nice looking shot and a good save from Jack Hogarth, who probably has been the one shining star so far for forfeiture with bat and with ball. It's nicely played, four runs, you don't have to run for those. But good at us, the reigning champions Drew are looking to make their first impact in Championship Week. It's not a bad looking delivery, but it's a terrific shot from Yaz as well. Bat on the ball and boundary. <laughs> Narby. Well, that will make you feel better. Okay. And that one's well played. That will go all the way. So, Manos, arriba, 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 Vitro, porque eso es seis carreras. And, uh, well, Hamza Niaz is performing well here at the moment. When do you consider batters as chewing up deliveries oh. and somebody else has to come in? And this one has been hit beautifully. This is a, a need be performance from them. And sometimes you get the rub of the green as well, as this one is an edge, but it flies away to the boundary. And in the same areas again, down the ground, this time it will bounce once and go over the boundary. And slow ball up in the air, and it will be a great catch if it's taken. That's sensational. That is an unbelievable catch. And uh, I don't think there's any issues with the heights of Narvi. He gets a slow full toss, he belts it, probably as high as the ball can be hit. But this catch, well, talk to me about this catch. This is just class. Yep, yeah, he'll go for five, and the score is 37 for one. Well, he doesn't mess around, he gets it away, and you're right, he's, like, he's been uh, something else, hasn't he? Ooh, well, let's have a look at this one. They're going to have to look at it. It's four for the moment me that's a no ball I just I always think these marginal ones should go to the batsman there it is it's called straight away so good umpiring good work from spring media and that means it's free hit time and down the ground and that's going to be six runs so they capitalize on it and I suppose that's how you get and down the ground again and they're just making the most of this power play with the uh, that field and not being put back there and the losing sunshine Low ball, and well, they've got to keep. Well, they're not thinking of run, they're not. Well, he's going to get himself out here. They're not even running. I thought at least you'd try and run just in case the catch goes down. It doesn't. And what a strange over that is from Alachid. He's gone for 25. He's uh, he picks up though two wickets, so he ends up with an over where he takes two wickets and goes for 25. And the score at the end of three 62 for two. And Nisar is in good form. Hamza, I don't really know how much cricket he's played recently. I know that, of course, during February, he did play there in Barcelona. Watch out in the fan zone if he does. Because don't forget, he's a lefty, and he <laughs> will. This is gone sailing over us. A big hit, and welcome to Hamza Salim Dar. So is this guy, though, Nisar. And he launches at this. He's out of reach for the fielder. Can't get there. So it's another one that's going to cost them. It's going to be buys a belief. Oh no, there's bats on this. Kind of garden couldn't stop it. And now this one is short and it gets over the fielder as well. So four of the first, six of the second. The runs just keep on coming. And uh, well, that's what he tried to do last time when he did get something on it. They said, or the umpire says, but he definitely got something on this one. The, the Fiesta, that's just punched nicely. That's a lovely shot from Hamza. Well, that's high. This could be out. He hasn't got it out the middle of the bat. He calls for the catch, Rico, and he takes it. So a low full toss works the trick. It wasn't probably where he wanted to pitch it, but he gets away with it. And a big wicket here for Forfarshire. You know, I've noticed something. This one is going to be a challenge, and uh, he's unlucky. Gets hands to it but he gets past him 
And this one will go all the way. The fielder does the right thing, stays just inside the rope. Scott Cameron and leaps as the ball's going over it, but he can't reach it. Six runs, so needed that boundary there, Nisar. He needs to get the accelerator going again, and well, he will because this one gets played away. It's four runs, getting good support from his players, and well, he goes short, and that's going to be absolutely hammered. So Nisar, well, I said he needs to. Put the foot down on the accelerator, and he's done just that. And he does it again. Shot. I tell you what, Corey, six runs. Shaba, Shaba, Ginna Sona, Ginna Sona, Rabanete, Numbanaya. Nissa gets another half century. I make that five on the spin. That's got to be a record. It's up there. If you stop the comp right now, he's the MVP. He is having a marvellous comp with the bat. He got him through the group stage when there was early wickets. And there you go. Wow. There's, that's what we're talking about. That's why, you know, we in the comedy box here, you good time crew, we talk about this a lot. King. Oh, well. That gets blazed away. That's another six. That is right up there as the Grizzly Hill topper. Six has been called. Oh, it goes for three out of three. Catching opportunity. Taken. Great catch. He's been superb in the field. I think this is the same man we saw earlier who took a brilliant catch, Ross. And uh, just waiting for confirmation of that. But the way he takes that catch, the way he gets there, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, Fraser Ross, great catch. Yeah, brilliant catch. Really, really good catch. Oh. <laughs> well, there you go. And uh, that's how solid he is. Amadai, boom. Shakalagia. There's another big six. All right, and this one oh. looks like that's going to be six. It goes all the way. So Amadai, now it's his turn to go 6-6 six, six of his first two. There's some of the... Uh, and this one is going to test the field. It's a great effort. Sensational. Now he's hurt himself here. That's, that has hurt. Uh, that has definitely hurt him. It's an incredible launch. And we'll see this here. He takes off. He tries to save it, but as soon as he... Yeah, you can see that's hit his hand hard. And, okay, well, <laughs> this one is, well, I don't think you'll see it at home quite the way that I see it. Enjoying some of the cold beverages, and there's another one. So it's as simple as that. And Nisar, uh, even though he hasn't been on strike much, but he's been enjoying things from the other end. As batters have come in and smashed sixes. There you go. He wow. goes there, because I've got to say that I knew Nissa was going to look for this as this gets smashed away as well, but it's probably not the most intelligent delivery to bowl. Okay, now it could be a chance, should be taken, it will be taken. No celebration at all from Four for sure. You can see they just go back to their marks. Uh, it's been one of those matches at the moment to forget. I, mean, oh, I know it's only the, the halfway point, but uh, they've, they've taken a bit of a hiding here, 175. Now for six, as finally Mohamed Nisa will go. It's last ball time, but he has the honour. And this one is going to get through him. It gets taken, they don't run. And that will be the end of the innings. And what an innings it's been, 175 on the board. moment here for Wallace and he plays this a little bit up -ish, but he gets it away oh that will make him feel so much better who hits this well and it stays hit well that's more like it watch out watch out in the fan zone as well there's another one that'll end up in the the shrubs and Craig Wallace is key and here he goes again Ball. Well, Cockney corner there, a little bit light at the moment. And, oh, that is a crazy pickup. What a shot that is. 
There's the way to do it, and oh, he misses out on this one, and so does the keeper. And that's not good keeping. That's really sluggish, and he's given us wides as well. So that's a minimal. So five wides, and now it's up in the air. Gear, gear, gear. Shaka! Lucky, quite an extraordinary one. It ends up on the famous steps of Cardamer. Supersonic start, and that's more like it. Good shot, quality shot. We know he can bat, we know he's got the shots. And he gets a boundary. Yeah, lovely batting. Let's see how this fares. So that's what I mean. That's what he likes to do. But if you if you can sweep and you wait for it, you put it away. And that one is a tree topper. Is that's going to be six more? So those two. Well, what a start this is. And there's more boundaries. This one will also go all the way. Six runs. Shaba, Shaba. And this is going to be six more. Shaba, Shaba, Shaba. Ajdana, Bolan, Nui, Niku, Tiberi, you know. Jungi, Shit, Tiberi, as another one goes to the boundary. Oh. <laughs> All right, somebody tell me how that's going over there. I'm expecting the edge to be going third, man. It actually goes to fine. Yeah, a lot of luck. He goes the French cut versus the French. Oh, oh my that word. is huge. <laughs> that is mammoth. I have never seen one hit that far, and I'm telling you, that is an outrageous hit from Wallace. What a shot. And is there sneak on this? And well, the finger does go up in the end, so Wallace reluctantly will depart. And uh, it is Wahid Abdul that gets the wicket. And a very important wicket as well as Wallace swings and he's making a very slow walk off the pitch. He's not convinced about this. Wallace, well, he is back. He scores runs, but they needed him in there. And uh, okay, this one will go all the way. They're not going to keep this in the field of play. So six runs. Garden needed it, gets it. That's his first boundary. And a uh, little bit of luck like that will always help. That's going to be six runs. So saves mass as that ball goes to the other side of the fence. Uh, gets back onto it. And there's your bonus runs now. Courtesy of that one. It's going to be six of them as well. So it's an over. That will go magical from Hamza Salim Dar. Oh, that's, uh, has he got enough of it? Yeah. Fingertips but goes over the boundary. I think the foot off the fielder. Uh, be interesting to see it again. Might have just been touching the rope or over the rope anyway. So, timed to perfection from Callum Garden. Oh, what a shot. What a shot this is. Four runs. That is an absolute rocket. What a cut shot. One of the oh. best that we've seen here. Oh, high, high, big moment, Rico. Who's calling for it? Amazon wants, wants it. it. Oh, what a brilliant catch. I tell you what, he's actually walked under it a little bit. He's gone falling back into the pitch. I hope he's okay. Uh, he might have winded himself, but what a terrific catch, Rico. Uh, this is a great catch. It was Armazai, not the guy who took the catch when he backwards yesterday, and he landed very heavily on his back and, uh, and banged his head, and then it, he had to have Elsa come out there and give him a check. All right, goes up in the air, could go first ball. He will go first ball, and well, come on, Armadzai. He shows that having taken that catch and falling backwards quite heavily has no impact on him. He takes the wicket two and two. Watch out for him when he comes back to bowl. He's first ball a few seconds because he will be on a hat trick. It's a good catch there by Barty, and with that wicket going down, a four for shot, 103 for two. Oh, good work from the keeper, and that's gone. Stumped. We're going to go up and have a look, but he's already walking off, Rico, and that could really break the backs of Forfordshire. Yeah, I mean, that's it now, really. The wickets have fallen quickly. Okay, high in the air. Catchable. Can they get there? Oh, it's a slight fumble from the fielder who's running in here. That's uh, Mohammed. Rafa. He had other players running from deep mid-old and deep mid-wicket. There was a slight hesitation in his step. I just landed in no man's land. Probably wasn't his catch, actually. That's a nice-looking shot. That's going to be six runs. So, still game on here. Definitely still game on. And uh, 
it's a nice shot, and there is a fielder out there, but he goes very fine. Fielder can't stop it. They do get a boundary. And gone. Slower delivery. Well bowled. He gets through the defences of Hogarth. So Hamza, and after scoring a few runs, he gets his first wicket as well for Drew. Nabi is the first to come over and congratulate him. So another wicket, and then still. Wolfshire has been a tremendous effort. And that one's an inside out. It's going to be four runs. Thank you very much. So Abdul will have to pick it up on the fence. And that is going to be a boundary. It's going to be six. So, yeah, you're right. King came in yesterday and he certainly hit a few away. And that's a nice looking shot. That's going to be four runs. So. Well, King, he hasn't given up yet. He's a guy that can play some lovely shots. And, well, that's going to be the end of him. He has a big swing and sees the stumps knocked back. That one's hitting the middle and almost knocks him out the ground. So, Reid Abdul gets another. That's well bowled. Two for 18 now. And King, well, he was fighting. He didn't want to go down without a fight, but he's going to have to go here. Just good bowling. And he could get a wicket of his first ball. Well, there you go. Things are about to change for Narby. <laughs> he comes on. Well, well, this is what, you know, this is where, this is the privilege of being the captain, isn't it? You, you know the game's in the bag. So, yeah, I'm the captain. I'm going to have a ball. I'm going to change the way things are going for me. And his first ball rewards him with a wicket of James Sim, who will go for 10. And it's high in the air. And... Narby will want it himself. He'll take it himself. So Narby, yeah, his confidence certainly is fine. And no runs off the bat so far in this over. He's got two wickets from it, two without conceding. It's Narby, the man we know for his batting, not his bowling. Is he going to finish with unreal figures of, uh, well, a double wicket or even maybe more wickets to come? And it's going to be a boundary. So nice little finish there for Alchin. He's going to get four. And I suppose, look, it's uh, normally in another sport, if you get 147, everybody's cheering and saying, well, that is top class. Well, this time around, it's a great effort from Forfisher. But 147, when you're after 176, it doesn't quite cut it. But uh, a good effort from them.